Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I will be helping you how to correct a bay park. So you've done the bay parking and you're not in the bay. You are probably either too much on the left or too much on the right. So how do you correct that? So this video will help you how to correct a bay parking if you get it wrong. Now, if you need a full lesson on bay parking, there is another video where I have explained in full details how to do the bay parking. If you need that, watch the other video if you need a lesson on bay park. But this video will help you how to correct a bay parking if you get it wrong. First, I will explain and then I will show you how it's done in practice. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And let's start the lesson. Okay, so like I said, um, in this video, I want to help you um, with the bay parking if you get it wrong. So say you've done the parking and you've um, went into a bay, but it didn't go into a bay. It's too much on the left or too much on the right. How do you correct it? So imagine this is your car and you want to reverse into a bay on the left. So you reversed and you came in, but you are on the bay too much on the right, which means you have to correct this um, to pass the test. So what do you do? How do you correct that? And the best way to do that is get the car prepared, which is first gear prepare the car to go forward and because our car is too much on the right we need to go forward towards left to get it right because the gap is here too much so we need to close this gap by going forward and the way to do that is when you go forward steer towards left 30 minutes so imagine this is your steering do 30 minutes towards left because we are going left and the reason we are going left is because the gap is on the left hand side we need to move our car towards left and this is why we are steering towards left 30 minutes once you've done that go forward until the car goes forward closing the gap on the left now keep going forward until you close the gap on the left and imagine the left line and go close to the left line of the bay which is this one there so imagine this one going forward so go close to that line and stop once you go to this point you stop so what happened here is your front is towards left and the back of your car is still towards the right which means when you reach this point stop and now take the wheel back where it was and do 30 minutes towards right okay so before you did 30 minutes towards left which means when you reach this point here take the wheel back where it was which is 30 minutes towards right and then do another 30 minutes to the right to get the back straight so once you've done that go forward until the car is straight once the car is straight take the wheel back 30 minutes which is towards left and then go back until you're in the bay and that's done now this time imagine you want to go forward towards a right. So you went forward towards a right and your car went in the bay but it's too much on the left. Which means you have to go out and correct this to be in the bay. Now because your gap is too much on the right you have to go backwards towards right and then go straight and then go forward to get the car in the bay so prepare the car into reverse gear look around if it's safe and before and as you go back steer 
to right 30 minutes because you need to close the gap on the right you steer towards right 30 minutes then go back until you close the gap which is imagine this line and you go close to that line once you reach this point you stop and now the back is out and the front is close to the line which means you need to get the car straight once you reach this point take the wheel back where it was and then do 30 minutes towards left and then keep going backwards until the car is straight once the car is straight get the wheel straight so then you take the wheel back 30 minutes towards right to get the wheel straight and then first gear go forward into the bay and then that's it so just to give you an example um, of this technique always remember to steer the way you want to close the gap so imagine this is your car which is not in the bay and the gap is too much on the right which means you have to close the gap on the right side so whether you're going forward or backwards the way you need to move the car that's the way you steer so whether you are reversing or you're going forward if the gap is on the right you steer right if the gap is on the left you steer left and how much do you steer and I always say steer 30 minutes so in this case the gap is on the right 30 minutes towards right and go forward until close to this line and then take the wheel back and do 30 minutes towards left and then go forward until the car is straight and then take the wheel back and get the wheel straight which is 30 minutes towards right and then straight back or reverse back into the bay so it's 30 minutes towards right and this point take the wheel back and do 30 minutes towards left go forward until the car is straight and get the wheel straight which is 30 minutes towards right and then just reverse back I hope this explains now here we are reversing into a bay on the left hand side so we keep reversing until the point we, where we need to steer here we will do for left lock hoping the car will go into a bay we keep reversing keep looking all around to see if it's safe and keep reversing until hopefully it will go into a bay keep going backwards and then we will look at the side mirror and also open the door to see if it's in the bay and it looks it's not in the bay it's too much on the right which means we need to go forward towards left so get the car prepared look around including the blind spot and then we will have to steer towards left 30 minutes once we've done that we will go forward the car will go towards left closing the gap keep going until it's enough which is close to the left line on the bay once you reach that point take the wheel back and do 30 minutes towards right and then go forward until the car is straight when the car is straight take 30 minutes back towards left which makes the car straight get the car prepared to go backwards so reverse look around and look at the back and go backwards look on the side mirrors to see if it's safe and it's going in the bay and keep going backwards and keep looking on the side mirrors to see if it's in the bay 
we keep going backwards and until the car is in the bay so we keep going backwards make sure it's safe all round now it looks it's in the bay we put the handbrake on side mirror and open the door to confirm and it is in the bay now this time the car was too much on the right which meant we had to go forward towards left now if the car is too much on the left just go forward towards right this time we will be going forward into a bay on the right so at this point we will do full right lock hoping the car will go into a bay keep going forward and we will check and it looks that we are not in the bay it's too much on the left which means we need to reverse towards right to get the car in the bay so we prepared and we do 30 minutes towards right and we reverse and the car will go towards right closing the gap close to the um, right line of the bay once we reach that point we will take the wheel back and do 30 minutes towards left and then we will keep reversing until the car is straight when the car is straight take the wheel back towards right 30 minutes and then go forward until the car is in the bay once we go into the bay handbrake on side mirror open the door and it's in the bay Um, this time we went forward into a bay and it was too much on the left which meant we had to move towards right to get the car in the bay if it's the opposite and your car is on the right too much then go back towards left and get the car in the bay okay that's it for today and i hope you've enjoyed the video if you did please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and i hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now